Okay, Gun Collector 007 here with uh, something I've never done on my channel before. This is a quick glimpse at a partial part of my cigar collection. And um, I actually have about a half a dozen humidors of this size, uh, as well as some full-size cabinet ones, which I keep actual boxes of cigars in. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to uh, take a look at this one uh, humidor of uh, non-Cubans. I have uh, another separate humidor with just Cuban cigars, but these are going to be mostly Dominicans, uh, Honduran, and uh, some others in there, some Jamaicans, etc. in there. So this is a Agresti humidor. Any of you guys out there know anything about humidors? This is handmade in Italy. Um, it was quite costly when I got it uh, several years ago. All the little pieces right here of wood are all inlaid and uh, it's a beautiful humidor and it served me well. So we'll take a look at it. And uh, as I open it, I see the uh, hygrometer here is at 70% humidity, which is perfect. And um, I try to keep all my cigars in perfect condition. I have some cigars that are over 25 years old. And again, this is just a brief, brief sampling of my cigars. So let's see if we can get these on camera. We'll just go for, through a few of them. This is uh, a Oliva brand uh, series five cigar right here. Um, nice cigar, uh, one of my favorites, handmade cigar as all my cigars are. So we'll just go through these real quickly. Otherwise this will be really long and boring. This, I don't know how this got in there. This is a, a Valentine cigar. I don't like that one at all, so that's gonna go in the garbage. Um, let's look at some others that are pretty good. This one here is a good cigar. This is a Diamond Crown cigar, also handmade in the Dominican Republic. This is a Churchill size, a size I enjoy. Great cigar. Um, this one here, I smoke a lot of. This is a Dunhill, beautiful uh, Corona size cigar, probably a 42 ring size on it. Beautiful, nice smokable cigar, Dominican Republic. Uh, let's see, here's a nice everyday cigar, La Gloria Cubana. Um, very nice size for smoking, you know, outside around the pool. Um, Here's something different, not in the best condition. Um, if you could see that, that says KR on it. I don't know if you could see that. Uh, this was given to me by my friend Keith Richards, the uh, guitar player for the Rolling Stones. I have a couple of more downstairs in one of my other humidors, but uh, he has these handmade, and these are from the uh, uh, Domin uh, not Dominican Republic, from Nicaragua actually, where he also has a house and uh, I've smoked a lot of these cigars and um, you know, pretty awesome cigars from a good friend, so that's a really awesome cigar. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have an Avo, which is uh, also a very nice mild cigar, Dominican Republic, really good. Uh, we have, of course, uh, Romeo and Julieta, one of my favorite cigars, nice size right there. Uh, it was probably a 52 ring size on that one. Um, very smokable, beautiful cigar. For when I'm in a hurry and I want to smoke something quickly, this is called a Rocky Patel. This is a vintage 1999 cigar, uh, awesome cigar. Um, quite costly but uh, quite delicious and worth it. Um, this is another handmade cigar that I got from another uh, celebrity friend of mine. Uh, I won't mention his name but um, he has these made for him and uh, pretty awesome cigar. Um, let's see, right here we have a Padron. Awesome, delicious, uh, slim cigar on that. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have another Avo. This is a torpedo shape, um, which is actually one of my favorite shapes. Uh, the way it tapers on both sides. You snip this end and you light it gently. And this is a, a beautiful, this is called an 85. Uh, awesome cigar. Um, right here we have a Fuente Opus X. 
awesome cigar. Um, I smoke a lot of these. Uh, one of my favorites. And uh, let's see what else. I actually have all my favorites really in another humidor I just realized. This is a Ashton right here, a handmade cigar, Churchill size, awesome, one of my favorites. Um, another Ashton. This is another Fuente Opus X, great cigar. Uh, let's see. This one here is a Monte Cristo, and uh, I like Monte Cristos. Actually, I have boxes of Monte Cristos, uh, number twos, which are my favorite. That's downstairs. Should have probably grabbed that humidor instead, but anyway, this was an off the cuff type of a video. Um, let's see what else we have in here that might be of interest. Um, we have a Davidoff. If you guys know anything about Davidoff, uh, excellent. This is a number two, excellent cigar. Also, again, handmade. Um, this one right here, this is a, a one of, this is a Camacho. Um, it's a two-tone wrapper, if you see over there. It's a nice cigar, I'd give it about a six out of a 10. Not, not one of my all-time favorites. Another Romeo and Juliet. Uh, this is a Julieta, this is another one. Favorite cigar, Gloria Cabanas. Um, this one here, Hoya de Monterey Excalibur, excellent cigar. Sylvester Stallone actually smokes this cigar. It's a fantastic cigar. Um, let's see, what else? This one here, Royal Barbados. This is the last of a box that I bought when I was actually in Barbados. Um, so this was a uh, favorite of mine. I smoked uh, this with my son. This was uh, one of the first cigars he ever had when he turned 21. Uh, Royal Barbados Cigars was great. Um, this one here is another Padron, and this is what they call a box cigar. If you notice, it's squared off on the side like that. And uh, that's a, a pretty nice cigar. And here's another Padron Anniversary. Really nice cigar, very expensive Padron cigar, also box, box cut. And uh, right here is just a, what's called a cane cigar. Not too expensive. This one still has a price on it. I don't know why. Eight dollars and sixty cents. This is one of the cheaper ones, and um, that's really about it. So just a quick look at it. Uh, La Tradition. Here's another uh, Ashton right here, which is a, a nice cigar, Churchill size, and uh, that's it. A little damage on the end there. I must have dropped it or something like that. But uh, that's it. So. Uh, I'm, like I said, it's just one of my human doors. And, uh, you know, the one thing, if you guys have any questions about cigars, uh, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, cigars should always be kept at a 70 degrees humidity, which is perfect. And uh, that's something that has to be done all the time. And if you do that, cigars could last for years and years and years. And you have something that holds the humidity in it right here this is called uh, El Rey de Mundo Yuma Perfect but uh, this is basically uh, a device where you put either distilled water or I use uh, cigar juice of different brands and that that keeps the humidor at a 70 percent humidity and all good humidors should be cedar lined as you see here and uh, that's it and they should have a good seal as you see right there and if you have housekeepers you should have a, a key lock on it because sometimes they do disappear while your house is being cleaned. So that's not a good thing to do. Anyway, just a quick look at another one of my uh, collections slash subsections. I've been smoking cigars on and off since uh, way too long, many years. I used to have a restaurant, one of my first restaurants, and uh, I used to have a cigar at 6 o'clock in the morning every day with my breakfast. But that's when you were able to smoke cigars in, in in restaurants and no one complained or anything like that. So good old days. All right. So just a quick, a quick peek at one of my hobbies. Thanks for watching and always appreciate a like, share and a subscribe. Have a great day.